Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Amnesia the Dark Descent. We are in the cistern. We are looking for stuff and things. Of course, the big-ass door won't budge. Go freaking figure. All right, um, so, if I remember correctly, yes, we've got a lever that needs to come down. Who knows what activates what here. Um, I'm not getting anywhere, so I think uh, I'm going to have to go back down this way. Hooray. Okay, got some nasty water. It's too traverse, yeah, too deep to traverse safely. So, I am kind of screwed. Where the hell do I go? Okay, got to look around. I came from there. Can I hop over? Yeah, I can hop into here, but there ain't nothing here. Red spots. Bloodiness, maybe. Anything in here? Nope. Okay. Now we're back to playing the puzzle game. Yeah, there's no way in hell I'm getting anywhere close to there. Oil drainage. A vessel's needed to carry the oil. Um, well, hey, I have this glass jar. Nice. So now I've got a jar of oil. Oh, I got a jar of oil, and I don't know what to do with it. Well, maybe it's used to loosen this guy. Check out the jar of oil on the thing. Yay, I did it. And that did what exactly? We'll find out. Ah, I knew it was the ladder. Broken pipe is blocking. However, it got somewhat damaged by the impact. Can I use my chipper boy? Maybe? Nope. Okay. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Do the ladder way up. What if I do it from way high? Like full force. Yes. Break it, baby. Make it go die. There we go. <laughs> That's what we in the industry like to call percussive maintenance. Just keep on hitting it until it works. All right. Whoa. What the hell, man? I just push the run button. It's like, oh, did you mean to jump from the top of the ladder straight down without bracing your fall? Uh, awesome. All right, can we go to the control room? The blue light binded him as it had done inside that murky tomb in Algeria. It was just as enchanting, and he tried to approach it, but the Baron's firm hand held him back. It's super red in here. I don't have anything for my health. And I'm barely conscious. This is great. Flashback. Don't forget your bag, Daniel. I won't, Herbert. There is no shame in using a parasol in the desert. As it happens, it's imperative to your survival. That's why Princess Peach. Ridiculous. The shame will hurt much less than dying. I assure you. Yeah, man, rock that parasol. You know, Pr Princess Peach is smart. She knows what she's doing. That also helps her to float. Okay. Looking around. Got a few doors to choose from. Ooh, let's try this door with a skull on it and the little valvey boy. I can turn it, and it opens. Temporarily. Ooh, I'm not going in there just yet. I'm going to explore these other rooms. How many tinder boxes do I have? 13? Yeah. Uh, not super amazing. Light, please. Thank you. Um, okay, three different valves. Broken piece of pipe. <laughs> okay, so. I wonder, are we gonna raise and lower these little doodly doos, or what's the scoop? I'm sure there's bound to be something to look at in the other room. It's like, oh, do this. Stuck. Stuck. And stuck. Okay. So let's, uh, actually, what's behind there? Nope. All right, other room. What is in here that we can use? Uh, more valves. Another broken pipe. Is it just going to be, like, set dressing, or is there actually something to it? Ooh, okay. Ooh. It's moving 
that one. Okay, cool. So that moves that. Where do I need these to go? Do they need to go all the way up, or is there something else going on? Now, I wonder. I've raised these a little bit. What about the other side? I think I only saw two over here. No, there are three. And stuff as well. I think that was the position I saw them in before. Let's just raise them all up and see. Let's just raise them all up. We're having fun. We're doing puzzles. Alright, that's max height. Next guy. Round and around and around and around and around. And then one more. Round. Okay. Round, 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 around, around, and around, and around, and around. Okay, so all these guys are totally up top. These ones in here still have not moved. And the wheels are stuck. Huh. Okay, what about other parts of the room? Let's see. Oh, a tinderbox and a letter. Nice. Just what I was looking for. That's not a letter. Dang it. It's just rendered. Lame. Okay. Um, hmm. These are just weights. These are little balancey boys. These are used to balance out something. Um, one last check in the other room. And then I think I'm going to have to go into the, uh, the door of no return. Yeah, not seeing anything. Nope. All right. Door of no return it is. Ooh. I'm going to try that. Put the chair in the way. And then maybe put this box on top. Okay, got to open it up again. Open it one more time. And then box on chair. No. Okay. Got to experiment. Will this block it? We'll just keep it open. Can I crouch under it? Yes! Oh, baby! We are using our big wrinkle brains today. All right, in this room, we have more doors. Hooray! A chest. Oh, and there's a little thing. Just so I could get my way back out, probably, right? <laughs> that was useless. Oh, boy. I thought I was onto something for sure. Okay. I'm overthinking the game. Alright. More stuff is it? Oh, it's, I can actually read this note this time. Hooray. 13th of January, 1799. The work I've put into this machine is unequaled by the reasoning of any man. The thought that generations of men have passed away since I first attempted to reconstruct the design is most tiring. The limitations of this world have made my work incredibly difficult. Dude, you're going to have internet in no time. Don't worry about it. It has forced me to build the thing almost a hundred times larger than the delicate contraption it tries to emulate. Not to mention, the flow of tamed lightning crudely replaced by pressured steam pushing its way through the pipes and turbines. It shames me to think of what the inventor would have thought of my monster. Where he works with the magnifying glass to carefully fix all the parts, I push five men to erect a tower of wrought iron in the hope it will have even the tiniest hint of the power found in a traveler's locket. Ooh, all right. So it's a big boy version of a little boy thing. Cool. So, quick look see around here. Not much. Big old pipe going that way. And we've got levers galore. Can I move any of them? Stuck. What about this one? Same probably. Oh my god, get on it. Get on it. I have to try them all. Gotta try them all. Okay. Gotta try them all. Okay. So we have this room. Oh, hey, lantern oil. Nice. I will put it in there right now. Boom. And then snuff it out for a minute. Any other hidden goodies? Ooh, perfect place to hide stuff, but nothing here. Okay. Let's try one of the other two doors. Let's go counterclockwise, shall we? Door number two boxes. Looks like bleachers. Okay. 
I don't need to use my light since I've got some nice light coming from above. Ooh. Is that a hint that I may need to break that and get that cog down? Ooh, all right. I got plenty of throwable items. Let's see if I can work my magic. Go get it! <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. Maybe if you use a smaller one. And get it! <laughs> nope, okay, I think I'm overthinking this again. All right, moving on. Door number three. Ooh, another downward thing to more levers. Okay, what's over here on this table? Can I use any of these? Oh, I can. It's a wooden crank. And some calipers? Yeah. So I've got me a crank made of wood. And then, can I do anything with these levers here? I can. Okay, so that moved that guy all the way uh, down a bit. That moves it up. No. Let's see, maybe I want it down. So let's try moving that back like that. What about you? Nope, you're also there. Okay. And then down. Hey! We are puzzle masters. So now that we've pushed that, We've got activity going through these pipes. Awesome. Anything back here? Nope. Check every place. Leave no stone unturned. Okay, so now that we've done that. Oh, now we got a flashback. Great. Herbert, how did we find this place? An old friend back in Algiers gave me a map. His name was like Google or something. Didn't he want to come? He wanted to, Daniel, but things don't always turn out the way we plan. He gave me you kill him, you kill your friend. So this one looks... Okay. Is that what I had in the last one? Down, up, up, down? So, if I have to do down, up, up, down for here, I have to emulate what's going on with them little dudes, little, little weighty boys. Okay, let's go back. D duck under, thank you. So, these weights are like, how would I describe them? Like, chest height, just over head height, and way up high? So, chest, way high, head. Let's try that over here. Starting with, uh, looks like that one there. That one needs to be uh, head height. Waiting. Oh. That's right about there. Maybe a little up. Try a bit up. Okay. That one needs to be pretty far up there. That's close. And then this one is going to come way down. Yeah, close enough. That is a close enough approximation to balance things out and get it to work. All right, beautiful. Daniel, is that you? What are you doing? Science, bitch! Okay, let's go back here. I want to investigate the little room with the bleachers one more time. Just for gets and shiggles. Man, they're messing with me. That's nothing. This is just literally a room to evoke various thoughts and feelings of like why are they having bleachers set up? Is there like some type of entertainment that happens in here? I don't know. Alright, well for all intents and purposes I think we did it. I guess we're going back down to the cistern. Tight. And maybe we'll see some water running. We'll see some things going maybe perhaps. Only one way to find out kiddos. The purpose of the Inner Sanctum had always been to study the orbs and find a way to force them to yield their power. However, he was still unaware of this. Okay. So, back down the ladder. Easy. 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 Yeah, right. Okay. So. 
this door probably still won't budge, but maybe we did something with water. Nope. Yes, let's go chest the water. Did I say chest? Test. Let's go test the water. I'm going to keep my glass container empty. Oh, it's still too deep. Or is it? It feels like it's the same height as before. Okay, it is too deep still. What the heck? What the actual hell, man? I did your stuff and your things. I ain't going back in there. I don't see any reason to go back in there. To enter the sewer, it first must first be drained. Yeah, I know. I gotta drain the sewer. Wasn't that what all that hullabaloo was about? Is there something else I'm missing? Is there really something else I'm missing? Is there like a like a lever in here or something that I'm just not privy to? Anything? Anything at all? Because I can walk down to here roughly, but I don't know. I think we have to do some backtracking and some fast forwarding. See you in a second. Okay, I've got some levers here. I totally passed them on the way in. Let's see, so that did a thing. Ooh. Oh. Ho ho ho, hey. Well. That's not at all what I was expecting. Will you do anything? No. All right. Well, looks like we've got our direction to go. I have a feeling the sewer is not going to be drained for a little bit, but at least we know what we're doing. The beautiful wild orchids seemed a testament to nature's strength, being able to grow inside Brennenberg. Alas, it was Alexander's studies and care which enabled the flower to blossom. Horticultural expertise. Hell yeah. All right, we are here with a lit torch. Walking through the grossness. And another flashback. You're conserving water from the spring. Yes, it enables me to control the water in the drain sewers to some extent. Also, it can be used for all sorts of purposes. Make like it lube. Yeah, well, that too. But mostly to run different machines. Ah, like water mill. Exactly. Is it just me or does our boy Daniel seem a little bit naive? I mean, like, a little more naive and dumb than we than he should have any business being. Like, for real. <clears throat> okay. Um, let's move on. We have a lot of different directions to go in. And a lot of water to splash through. The five-year-old inside of this man has got to be jumping for joy. Tinderbox. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, 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 gimme. Thank you. And that's all there is over here. Tight. Wait. Yeah, tight. Okay. What's up these set of stairs? More tinder boxes. You heard that, right? Yeah. That's some scared people noises. Yeah. Okay. So that way leads to some... Ooh. I gotta hit that valve. There's gotta be something with that valve there. Ooh. Oh no, you're kidding me. You're freaking kidding me. Another modern monster? Oh my god. Redirect sewer water. Yes. August 1839. There is no denying that Alexander puts a lot of faith into what I can only describe as magic. The Orlando I'm magic. Surprised. Even while traveling across Europe, I assumed I would have to embrace the supernatural to save my mind and life. As a novice, I do everything in my power to stay focused and not dwell too much on my own doubts. Alexander you should have doubts, though. Early and told me it was time we got started on our work. He was obviously excited to get going, and we headed downstairs to the old dungeon where he preferred to attempt his rituals. It turns out that Alexander is a true Renaissance man, paralleled only by Da Vinci, I'm sure. You pretentious bastard. He several rooms don't, fitted don't for pronounce it like that. research, such as anatomy studies, alchemy, and botany. The crown of Brennenberg must be the inner sanctum. 
a most hallowed ground where we shall attempt to permanently banish the orb's shadow. Yeah, get out of here, shadow. Okay, I can turn and turn and... All right, so I did that, and um, cool. Very cool. Uh, well. Well, oh, well, oh, well, um. Tell me more, tell me more. Will he eat off my face? Okay. I hear more cries of people. Great. Makes me feel so great. I can grab this? Water's gonna slowly fill. Oh crap. Oh it's again it's a race against time. Dun 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 crap. I thought I could jump on that thing. Oh there we go. And dun 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 Man, right as soon as I jump in. That's lame. I don't have any laudum, do I? Nope. Just a little bit of lamp oil. Great. Just great. Okay, I've got a few directions to go in here. I ain't getting across that easily. Uh, hmm. Hmm, 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 chuck rocks at it? I can't just be chucking rocks at it and magically cut it down that way. Even though it is giving me a rock. All right. The spirit of Charlie Brown within me. I got a rock! Hell yes! First try. I'm pretty sure the game gave me a gimme on that one. The game gave me a gimme. That's a, that's a fun sentence. Um, nothing. Nope. All right. Up and over. Over and around. No thing. Across the little planky boy. And then another note. 8th of August, 1839. I could never be certain until today that I was on the right path. I keep turning left. Using my orb, Alexander managed to channel its power unto us. The inner sanctum flared with blue, fiery light, and I could feel the same things I felt in the dark chamber in Algeria. It was like standing in a mad whirlpool of impressions. It was terrifying. I can do impressions. But Alexander kept calm and wielded strange tools of science in order to tame the storm. The Sean Connery. Suddenly, the blue light was stained by strains of red, and the walls burst with pulsating tissue resonating with the scene. Alexander quickly covered the orb in some cloth, and the unspeakable thing vanished. Apparently, the orb's shadow is closer than Alexander thought. He said I should prepare for a warding ritual tomorrow. I'm not sure what he expects, but I have a bad feeling about this. You're starting to make sense. You're starting to come to your senses, Daniel. Now, redirects your water again. Okay, so once again, got ourselves some fun. A little dust devil action. Moving our way back around here. Okay. Where are my other places to go? I think that's pretty much it, right? I mean, I came in here from my current right. Oh, there's stuff down there. Oh, crap. I need something to throw them off with. Like, if I had a second rock, that'd be tight. Okay, so I'm over here. I can safely exit. Possibly that gave me what I needed, but I am curious about what's down there. Oh, man. You know what? All right. I'm going to do this a slow way. Actually, there's a thing over there. Hold on. All right. I'm going to try to go back to the sewer part, see if it drained. If not, I'll be right back here in a second. Please stand by. Actually, Alexander knew there must be a way to finish the ritual before it was too late. He had to teach his friend to harvest the vitae. Blah, 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 blah. Alright. 
Yep, no fast forwarding right now. We're just gonna go ahead and do it. We're gonna go down a little bit and then jump. All right, did it work? Did I redirect enough of the water out of here? That did nothing. Cool. Uh, so now we gotta do a backtrack here. Go across, and then we're gonna have to take that long path. I did not see anything I could throw, I don't think. Might have been a box or something. He waited for his eyes to adjust to the darkness, but no shape or contour appeared. I know about contouring. It's a makeup technique. Okay, so... Real quick, let's just head over here. And then... There's got to be something I can take somewhere. And... Whee! Crap. Oh, crap. Did I just take fall damage? Like, from a short distance? Am I that much of a wimp? That I'm going to be subjected to fall damage? The water rushing in the chamber makes a strange sound. Ooh, that's death, I think, down there. Okay. So that was the only option I had for that. And it's not doing it anymore, okay. All right. Oh god, this is really bad on my headphones. Just like right side, both left, both right. Ugh. Okay, I am going to make a run for it and hope for the best. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see all obstacles in my way. Okay, um, got to avoid the steam. This is like a really bad episode of Wipeout or MXC or something. And you. I'm just going to turn you indiscriminately. I don't care. Did I turn those off? Cool. My way back is now safe. Alright. And then... No. Piss off, butthole. Redirect sewer water again. I love how it's like you've got like multiple different things for redirecting, yet... You don't see any incremental changes. All three of them have to do stuff before you get the results, but whatever. August 1839. It is still early, and Alexander is busy preparing for the ritual later today. Seeing him this worked up makes me question why. What does he stand to gain? Muscle mass, bro. I realize he is curious about it all, but surely there must be more. Yeah. Is he so foolish he will attempt to tame the power of the orb? <laughs> He's gonna try. I must admit that yesterday, when Alexander flooded the inner sanctum with blue light, I realized we had but graced the orb's true potential. This might turn out to be more than escaping a creeping shadow. It might be the beginning of something truly extraordinary. Hell yes. I can't wait to see everything go from hell to freaking hell. Uh, Alright, so that should have been the last of the uh, redirectees for the water. So let's just uh, meander our way back. Meander. Meander. Did whatever. Alright, and we're running. We're running, running, and running, running, and running, running, and running, and, and zigging, zigging, and zigging, zigging. Zigging, 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 zigging. Hey. Okay. That is the last step of this. Better be the last step of this journey. The red... <laughs> Don't use that word. The red taint burst from the walls as if they'd begun to bleed. He cried out in fear as the spectacle began to consume the blue simmer. No! No! That... Ow! Okay, fine. That's karma. <laughs> Please don't ever say the red taint burst ever again. <laughs> Is it clear? Yay! Finally. Oh, green smoky haze. Okay. <coughs> Yeah, just get through. Just get through, homie. I felt going further without a vaccine would be fatal? What? What? What is this now? What is this now? I don't believe in science. I'm not going to get a vaccine. I don't want to end up like, you know. Sorry, no. 
That's horrible. That's ex <laughs> that's the exact opposite viewpoint is what we have here on the channel. It's pretty dumb. Okay, um, so I must have to go to there now. Is the system chain such that I can only have one ramp down at a time? So let me try to do the ramp this time. It's like, nah. Hold on. Hey, nah. Nope. Okay. So I guess I'll take this guy up. Or not. Oh, there. Wait. What? No. Oh, there. Wow. Okay. That was some delayed response. Great. I thought I did something wrong, game. Thanks for making me feel bad. Waiting. Waiting. That's the scariest part. Is the waiting game. Alright, now can I go down you? What the hell? How do I go down this freaking thing? I give you the lever over and over again. It's still nothing. And then I do this. Back up. It's still nothing. Okay. Wow. This sucks. Okay. Um, we're running towards the end of the episode, but I'm not going to end it quite just yet until we have some type of resolution. I'm going to figure out what we need to do next, and we'll be right back. Okay, I may have made a bit of a mistake. Um, I thought I was smart, but then I forgot to grab the rock. Maybe I can get lucky and jump up. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Ow. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, but still. Um, hmm. Well, now that I'm closer, maybe I have a chance at it. Just going to try that again. If I die, I die. But this is how we do it. Get up. Come on, get down with the sickness. Playing the old waiting game once again. My bra my brick, my block, my brock. I'm gonna put that on here first. Tight. Alright. So this gives me a lot of time to work it out. Go up and run, baby. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Run and jump. Okay. I've got... I don't know how many chances at this, but this is gonna be close. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Now, what do I need to hit? Do I need to hit just that mass of stuff up there or what? Okay, a couple steps closer to the edge. And do it. Son of a bitch. All right. We'll see you on the other side. Oh my god. That took so much longer than I'd care to admit. Not from my own fault or anything, but because the game was bugged. The game was straight up bugged, y'all. Like, uh, I, I don't want to go into it. I'm so pissed. Long story short, the puzzle inside the little control room with the levers going up and down, apparently I didn't complete it 100%. I went back and I tried to adjust. Oh, it's stuck in its position. It's like, no, it's not stuck. I'm obviously moving it. So I did it, and then it gave me a little flash of stuff. And now, for victory! Ouch, but I did it. Yay! <laughs> oh my god. I am falling out of love with this game now. Yeah, 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 we know about the freaking thing. We know about the orchid. Blah, 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 shut up. I think this is a pretty good chance, pretty good time to uh, end the episode as we're heading into the morgue. Actually, flashback, then we'll end the episode. Do you see, Daniel? It has yielded. What? The shadow. It has? For now. Come. Let's get this out of here so we can get some peace. Yes, let's. Where to? Just down the corridor, to the morgue. Are there more dead men there? You did well, Daniel. Come, let's get going. 
Oh, this dude is a gaslighting POS, I tell ya. Alright, well, we're here, we're on our way to the morgue, and we don't have any oil, awesome. Uh, thank you so much for coming along in this journey, uh, make sure to hit subscribe if you haven't done so. Also, leave a like, a comment, hit that notification bell so that you're aware of when uh, the videos go up and online. And share this with your friends and your loved ones. So until next time, and we see who's behind this door, take it easy.